Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic message to start your day. And today, I would like to bring up the topic that we are going to look at about delayed development. Now, children, there are a lot of children that have delayed development. And also, as I was looking into this, I also looked up the topic of arrested development. See, the Bible says, according to Proverbs 22, verse 6, train up a child in the way that he should go. And when he is old enough, he will not depart from it. So all children are important in God's eyes, including adults. But what happens in your childhood can also play out what's going to happen in your adult years. So bear with me today as we go a little bit deeper into this subject today that it may expose any of the enemy's agendas. Somebody say hallelujah. See, parents are responsible for the education and instruction of their children not the schools. You can't give it to the schools or the government or or many find comfort in believing in other things, but rather the parent has a very important position. See, if parents perform their biblical responsibilities towards their children, when the temptations of the world come, the child will be able to take a firm stand against those temptations as the character of God has been ingrained in them. So our obedience in training our children in the nurture and admonition of the Lord will result in a child who now can independently respond to all temptations from Satan with a strong devil. No, I can't do that because I belong to Jesus Christ. So you might be saying, what has this got to do with development delay or delayed development or arrested development? Well, we're going to understand. See, Satan is also interested in our children. He likes to get them young to stop their progress so that they never come to their full potential in Christ Jesus. And today, we see that today. We see governments, we see schools. They want to take over educating your children to give them a certain narrative to corrupt their minds. So it is even more imperative for parents to take a stand and bring the biblical thing within ours. So if he cannot stop you or try to hinder a child with speech delay or motorized development skill delay or learning delays, all these different things that we will see today, it will affect the adult when they get older. So bear with me today as we go deeper in this. Now, the Bible says, according to Luke 2 verse 52, and Jesus increased in wisdom and in stature, and in the favor with God and man. See, that is exactly what a good parent wants for all their children, for their child to grow smarter, stronger, and for God and others to show him or her favor. That's what we want for all of our children. But the enemy tries to come along and cause delay in these things or arrest their development that we will see today. So what is developmental delay? See, developmental delay is a term used to describe a delay in a child's development. It means that a child finds it much harder to do everyday things that other child, their age can do. For example, it might be a delayed speech. It might be walking. It might be even dressing themselves or, or whatever it might be. See, a child with development delay needs a lot of extra help to do everyday things compared to children of the same age. So that is in the natural realm. So what about arrested development? So arrested development, which has a definition, which means a noun, which is an abnormal state in which development has stopped prematurely. So it stopped prematurely. There's a regression, an abnormal physical condition resulting from defective genes or developmental deficiencies. So 
What about the arrested body? Let's look at the body, for instance. There could be, the enemy could be coming against one's physical growth. Uh, and development slowed or stopped muscular could be a stunted motor skills it could be a stunted growth it could be a delay in autism could be ADD could be ADHD so the enemy will try to come arrest our bodies try to come against that delay issues within that whatever that effect is on the child some of those things can be generational but we're going to learn how to pray about those things so we can speak life over our children to see the change within our children also what about the soul it could be the mind it could be learning disabilities it could be a fear of learning uh, it could be a slow reader it could be a slow hearer it could be uh, dyslexia it could be uh, a mental block it could be fears and insecurities social problems caused by these uh, blocked learning confusion uh, any type of um, motor or other deficiencies resulting from head injuries it could be also someone's in an accident could also come against them communication memory short attention span and even schizophrenia can come around for someone that has been affected in this area. So arrested development is one of the largest areas of attack on the soul through learning disability. So this powerful spirit and his helpers are able to destroy in body, soul and spirit, the mind, will and emotions are particularly vulnerable to this attack from this grouping of demons that we will see. Now, according to John 10, 10, we know the devil comes to kill, steal and destroy. So God warns us that the devil is dangerous and we are not to run from him, but respect the danger that he presents and fight back in the spirit through the authority that Jesus Christ has given to us. So let's list some of the characteristics that we could potentially see with someone with arrested development or it could be uh, development delays. Now, when we look at the children, it could be the childhood rejection often hinders our spiritual and emotional growth. So rejection is a big thing. So how does the spirit of arrest develop development disorder occur within children? Well, so usually children with a spirit of arrested development order were born prematurely. That could be the case. We're in incubators because so they could be sensing a, a type of rejection. Another entry is trauma at birth, like a cord wrapped around the child and the child cannot breathe. Other types of traumatic events before the child is sick, such as it could be a child that's had a lot of surgeries at an early age. It could could be a child that's gone through some type of abuse, separation from parents, or even given up for adoption. It develops an emotional arrested development disorder spirit. This, this can be common. If a father does not wake the child's spirit, or what I mean by that is meaning that the child doesn't affirm that child doesn't affirm them correctly. Maybe even the father has rejected the child because it was the wrong sex. They were praying for a boy or even they wanted a boy, but they got a, a female. Then the child can develop a spirit of arrested spiritual disorder. Another entry is a lack of proper, consistent and well balanced scriptural discipline can also be a door through which a spirit of arrested development demons enter our lives. Now we also see generationally children can be affected in their speech, in their different things. It could be trauma happening around the house. It can be just a generational thing that's passed down. So you've got to pray through it because the doctors and the schools and everybody around you is going to point you in one direction and going to label your children as autistic, going to label them as something. I'm not saying that some of these issues don't manifest with those particular characteristics, but we don't have to accept it, meaning we can pray and believe that God is going to change our children. What about adults? What about adults that have this arrested development or if the delayed uh, issues that we see See, within a child, if it's not corrected, what happens to those children when they become adults? So adults' characteristics of arrested development include self-doubt, 
self-hatred, isolation, low self-esteem, uncontrollable anger, and barriers of self-protective techniques learned in childhood. So without God's help, these characteristics can cause much sorrow in marriage and also in family relationships. And we can also see many narcissistic behaviors can start and happen with children that have these things that go on to be adults. So the arrested development demon can cause even a person to have addiction issues as an adult. It causes a person to even have temper tantrums to have their own well even as adults, not just children, but as adults. So it can cause an adult to still act like a child when they're growing up because they have this slow development and they're still playing with children's toys or something like that when there should be certain times of being serious. So we'll also cause a child to scream for attention and that's why we see some adults also scream. They believe by screaming they're going to get that attention by maybe their spouse or whoever it is that's disagreeing with them. Now we also see that this over-dramatized characteristics would also fit the character of many actors and actresses that we see on the stage or in movies today they have many of them have that spirit of arrested development some of those uh some of those movie actors and stuff are the worst people you can meet behind the scenes of the movie they portray something that's why many narcissists could also fit within this they're not the same person behind the scenes as they are in the movie set so for some adults even cooking and cleaning is a problem for them as they still want to be dependent on someone and will even sometimes marry a person that will fill that role, become the mother, they'll become the father for them and they want everything done for them. We see so many weird things happening today. So young adults that are unable to make decisions, basic decisions, if you're finding that you're completely double-minded all the time, that can be a cause of this arrested development that can come against you. So we're going to teach you how to pray against this and also for children that can come out of this. So you've got to ask yourself this question. Did you experience a time of rejection in your childhood or even as an adult that has been a stumbling block for you even today. So to begin a healing process, you first need to recognize and admit you need help. Now, when you're praying for your children, you stand in the gap on behalf of them. But if you're an adult that has been affected by arrested development, then it's up to you to take authority over that. So everyone's wounds are different. Each one's wounds uh, wounds in their own way. So, but no matter what causes the pain, the answer remains the same. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And we're going to understand that he has mercy. And we need to rely on him for his loving kindness to bring about change. So as believers, we are to take authority in the name of Jesus Christ and cut across the network of demonic communication, giving the wrong signals to our mind, to our will, to our emotions. As we receive deliverance from these different spirits, we can be free of their influence and their bondage. Now, these spirits of arrested development demons are grouping together. They're a group of different demons. By the world's standards, most psychiatrists would diagnose uh, with a spirit of arrested development as a mental disease and prescribe medication and therapy. That's why we're seeing so many mental health problems. They're just quick to label you, fill you with drugs, and those drugs just put a band-aid over the situation. Rather, it is an issue that has to do with their childhood delay. There was a delay of things or arrested development that took place. So no matter, even if you have a child that is going through those things, these prayers will cover everything. But I want you to understand this is not just a child problem, but rather if that child problem goes on, even into their adulthood, you will have problems. So it's very important. We also need to let our children go. They need to learn. They need to be mentored. They need to be taught and directed biblically. They need to be corrected. There needs to be discipline in the house. If you don't discipline a child, you can quite easily have an adult child like this later on if you don't, uh, you know, biblically 
correct them and discipline them in the correct way. But we're going to pray against this and we're going to come against this from a demonic point of view and against the groupings of the demonic attacks. And then we're going to pray also over the children and speak life. Now, as I speak over you as a child, you are as a child of God. So whether it is a child that is one year's development issues at three, two, four, five, six, or you are 40, or you are 50, or you are 60, it doesn't matter. You are a child of God, and I'm speaking these prayers to bring change to that environment. So whatever that curse is, it must be broken today in the name of Jesus Christ. So Heavenly Father, I thank you for each person that has taken the time to listen to this, to get a bit of a broader understanding, but we're going to come against those spirits. We're going to come against every area that Lord, that you would develop this child. This is your child. They are a child of God. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus. Father, please send the fire of your Holy Spirit to destroy every debilitating spirit in the territory of their life that has been sent to kill, steal and to destroy, to try to crush, to try to suffocate and prevent your divine purposes from being established within each person's life right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we ask you, Lord, to send your angels for each person that is listening today or those that they are standing in the gap on behalf of their children or families or loved ones to cut the cords between the rulers of the spirit of arrested development disorder, dyslexia, autism, ADD, ADHD, hypertension, Lord, and any perception problems and any and, and to bind them individually today. Lord, I come against whatever those demons are doing, that they may be separated and the umbilical cords are cut and severed today in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, please destroy all arrested development malfunctions, corruptions, altercations, counterfeit, and demon influences that alter, that suppress, that oppress and repress our God-given purpose, destiny, personality and abilities, spiritually, emotionally, any neurologically, any physically, any economically, any socially or professionally right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We also ask you, God, to send your angels in Jesus' mighty name to cut the cords between the strong man and those lesser demons working in groupings today in the name of Jesus Christ. We bind up and cast out all evil spirits from each person that is listening right now. Every evil spirit of anything to do with alcoholism. Lord, we come against that spirit of Leviathan and that spirit of rejection that is working under the spirit of arrested development and we bind them up in chains, each one individually, and we command you right now to come out of that person, go back to the pit of hell in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, we ask you, Lord, to send your angels to dig out, to isolate, to bind up every root of the spirit of emotional arrested development disorder and cut all supply lines through the roots to each other area or other family members or those of that demon family that are working together that is that affected by this arrested development demon in the name of Jesus Christ. Let them be arrested right now in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' name, we bind up and cast out all evil spirits from each person, as mentioned below right now, the spirits of childish speech, childish understanding and childish thoughts. We come against every generational curse. We come against trauma. We come against post-traumatic stress to come out of that person. Every demon that is labeled under these descriptions will leave them now in the name of Jesus Christ. We come against any ancestral demons, any demonic oppression over that person that come out of them and go back to the pit of hell. We come against spirits of fear, spirits of suspicions, spirits of paranoia, spirits of accusation to come out of them and go back to the pit of hell in the name of Jesus Christ. We come against all those areas right now. We come against every spirit, every emotional delay, arrested development, habits, 
personality disorders, any uh, any uh, ideologies that are not of you, any of those deems that are causing them to be confused, to be double-minded, Lord, any other disorders, impairments, any learning disabilities, any of those demons causing any of these temperaments, any of these disorders, any of these chemical imbalances within their brain. Lord, I pray that these demons will come out of them and go back to the pit of hell in the name of Jesus Christ. I come against all physical illness, all mental illness, all emotional illness and imbalance. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I come against depression, anxiety, any other type of disorders, any type of schizophrenia, any type of delusional disorders, bipolar disorder, we come against you right now. Bulimia, anorexia, we come against you. We come against every eating disorder. We come against rejection right now. We come against mental blocks, confusion, mind binding, mind control, any poor judgment spirits that is causing them to have poor judgment and no discernment. Come out of them and leave them in the name of Jesus Christ. We come out, we come against every spirit that's causing them to have tantrums to having regression, aggression, any type of self-sabotage behaviours, any type of social disorders, insecurity, irresponsibility, any of these demons that are causing this addictive behaviours, any type of obsessive compulsive disorders, any type of autism, Tourette syndrome, we command those spirits to come out of them and go back to the pit of hell in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, we plead the blood of Jesus over our brain functions and we command the proper, perfect and systematic function over all of our brain, which includes the visual, which includes the senses, which includes the hearing, memory, speech, behaviour, which includes the creativity, which includes the logic, which includes every aspect of our balance, our posture, Lord, our respiratory, our cardio, Lord, every aspect. Lord, we come against those demons and those things that are coming against our movement, our sensory, our mood, our motivational, our sensory, our motor functions, anything that's coming against our vision or optic nerves. Lord, we come against those things that are coming against the hormonal body processes. We come against those things that are coming against our emotions. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray, Lord, that you would help those people today come against the all formations, whatever is stopping their development. Lord, I pray that each child shall develop and come back into the perfect design of God. Father, please remove every demonic label of failure, incompetence, regression, Demotion, dislike, dishonor, disfavor, disrespect, hatred, mockery, scandal, slander, reproach, rejection, embarrassment, shame, deception, despair. Lord, any limitation over their life be broken today in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray today. And we pray that this prayer will be like a divine atomic weapon of mass destruction that demolishes every part of the enemy's target and mission today in the name of Jesus Christ. Let every demon release each from be released from each of their assignments right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, we cancel every assignment of retaliation with the word, the blood and the spirit. Let every assignment of retaliation against your people fail today in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we ask you to bring us to the place of ultimate balance in you as if the enemy had never interfered with your plans for our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we ask that you destroy every assignment of the enemy that would keep us in bondage because we are free and whoever the sun sets free is free and good. We thank God that He loves each and every one that is listening. And you are a child and He holds even your children close to His heart and that He will provide you with the wisdom and the guidance even for those parents that they need. Because He says in His Word in Isaiah, uh, Isaiah 40 verse 11, He tends His flock like a shepherd. He gathers the lambs in His arms and He carries them close to His heart.
He gently leads those that have young. Lord, I pray for each parent right now also and each child to be touched today. We pray also for each child's growth and development, each adult's growth and development physically, mentally, socially and spiritually. They may, even those that are being delayed in several areas, but we pray that they would always grow in the wisdom and stature in the favour of God and with men. Lord, I pray for each of your children today, those young and those old, we pray for their speech, your children. Lord, I pray for those that are nonverbal. They may even have delayed speech or language or those that have suffered with it. Lord, I pray today for each of their words, spoken and unspoken, means of communication would be a sweet apple of gold that others could cherish. Because the Bible says, according to Proverbs 25, 11, a word fitly spoken is like apples of gold in settings of silver. Lord, I pray also for your children's future, each one, young and old. Lord, no, despite of how the, the future may look uncertain, it may even look scary. Lord, wondering what the future may hold. But Lord, I pray that we will daily entrust our future into your hands because the Bible says according to Jeremiah 29 11 for I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord plans to prosper you and not harm you plans to give you hope and a future for those parents surrendering their children let them trust in the Lord that he has their children in and his best interest and the Bible says according to Isaiah 54 verse 13 it says all your children shall be taught by the Lord and great shall be the peace of your children I speak peace over each each person's child and also you as a child of God. We pray for each child, whether adult or young, to grow in wisdom and understanding. We pray that their minds would focus and that they would grow in the areas that they struggle as well as in the areas that you have gifted them with. We pray also for each person right now. We pray for those children. We pray for their parents. We pray for their teachers. We pray even for all those that are around them. Give them the wisdom also because Daniel 1.17 says God gave knowledge and skill in both books and life. I pray that the same promise that was upon Daniel would come upon each person. We pray for each child of God right now that they would experience health. Lord, we lift up any medical concerns, any health issues regarding those that are listening right now. I pray also for wisdom right now to be given to each person, but I pray for their good health right now. According to 3 John 1, 2, it says, I pray that you may enjoy good health and that all may go well with you, even as your soul is getting along well and prospering. Lord, I pray for each person person right now. I pray for each person that they may grow in the love of God, whether child or adult right now. I pray that they are your child and that they will continually grow in their social skills and learn how to even make friends and how to love others and that they would even grasp what it means to love God and experience God's love more. Lord, help all those that have issues with being able to relate to people. I pray according to Mark 12 verse 30, it says, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. Yes, Lord, because the Bible says, love your neighbor as yourself. There is no greater than this. Help us to love each person, to grow socially in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray also for each person's perseverance, even as your children, whether young or old, our children have to work extra hard to learn to do things that come naturally to some others. So Lord, I pray for those that need that grace. Give them the grace today. Give that child the grace. We pray that they will continue in strength to learn and grow in experience and from victory to victory and that they will never tire in what is in doing good as according to 2 Thessalonians 3.13. I pray also for their child's protection. I pray for that child of God, whether young or old. I pray for your protection right now. Right now, to be protected and covered and the angels shall surround you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, you shall be protected also. Because according to Psalm 91 verse 4, He will cover you with His feathers and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and right and, 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 and guard. Lord, I pray for each person right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray. Lord, for peace within their hearts. So many, Lord, of people today, whether child, young or old, they can struggle with anxiety. So I pray 
that each person would have peace from all their anxieties and also be able to have peaceful sleep. Because the Bible says, according to John 14, verse 27, peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give as the world gives, but not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Lord, we're not going to be afraid because your peace, your shalom surrounds us. I pray for each person, each child, each adult to have self-control whether impulsive or defiant or self-seeking, whatever it is, I pray, Lord, that they would have self-control. I pray that they would be able to learn and grow, live self-controlled, upright and godly lives. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray also for each person's courage. Lord, I pray for courage to face the day. I pray that they would have boldness to try new things and overcome unhealthy fears that may have been stuck because the Bible says, according to Joshua 1, 9, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged for the Lord your God. He will be with you wherever you go. I pray also for each of you and for your purpose, whether you are a child, young or an adult child of God, I pray that you as a child will be used for God's glory. I pray that your eyes would be opened and that God is going to do something great in your life. I pray that each of you would grow into what God created you to be. And Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, because according to Ephesians 2 verse 9, it says, For we are God's masterpiece created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. I pray for each person. I pray for their minds. Help them not to doubt, even in themselves and most importantly you. I pray for their ears. Lord, help them to learn to listen listen better and to hear what people uh, don't always take the time to say. Lord, I pray that you'll give them understanding. I pray for their eyes. Help them to notice even the hurts of others and give them eyes that are just focused on you and not on the wicked things of this world. Help them to shine and to share your heart with each and every person. Give them a mouth, O Lord. Let them speak words that are truth and words of healing so that they also will find peace with it as they learn and develop. Lord, I pray for their voice. Help them to learn to use their voice and to also control their voice also, especially, Lord, to sing your praise. I pray that you would give them hands, healing hands, make them strong and also but be gentle. Lord, I pray for their hearts, shield it from much hurt. Lord, from those that lack understanding. But Lord, I pray that they would learn to guard their hearts and fill their hearts with tenderness for one another. Even those that are, have their own struggles. Lord, give them the feet of the gospel of peace to bring peace to wherever they go. That they will carry you, Lord, through this world. You will carry your light everywhere they go. Touch them and fill them today and give them the tongue that only sings of your praise. Father, we pray also for all those unborn children today and for all those newborns. I pray for those that are still in the tummy. Lord, that there shall be a beautiful, perfect delivery of this child that shall come and this child shall be blessed. This We speak blessings upon that child. We pray also for those with babies. Lord, that those that have already been born, that they will sleep well and be happy and content through the day with no discomfort. We pray that nothing will hinder his or her development and that he or her will meet all of his or her milestones on time without any developmental delay. We pray against any infections or other illnesses that might come against this child and we thank you for placing your hand of protection upon these childs, Lord, but they shall not be affected by any delays in speech or anything within their lives. We speak your blessings upon them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet right now. Come and touch your people from the top of their head to the soles of their feet right now. Come and touch them and feel them. Come and touch them and feel them. Come and touch them and feel them today in the name of Jesus Christ. Bring your healing touch. Come and touch your people. Come and heal them. Come and deliver them today in Jesus' mighty name. 
we pray and believe. Amen and amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Narrowpath Ministries in Perth, Western Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And if you've liked this prayer, I encourage you to listen to it more times than you need. Probably skip to the prayer area if you've already understood the teaching. But for those, I would share it with someone because some people, even as adults, may have this issue. They may have this issue of delay. They may have this issue of arrested development. And I believe God wants to bring healing. I believe God wants to bring blessing to each person today. I don't believe that God wants to bring harm, but rather he has brought this to our attention so that we can know his purpose. He knows it. See, even as we have talked about these negative areas, God declares that you will walk in your divine destinies, that God is going to deliver you and your children to walk in freedom, to develop in God's perfect image and likeness. See, the Holy Spirit is going to bring the divine healing, the divine deliverance and assistance to help each of you rebuild your life, your dreams, your ministry, your business, your home, your family, your marriages, everything that the enemy has laid waste will rise again in the name of Jesus Christ as you look to him always as we prepare ultimately for his soon coming again. Let us believe in revival, precious saints. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook or Instagram, join one of our WhatsApp groups, precious saints, whatever nation you're from, send us an email, let us know what nation you're from so God may bring and bring repentance revival to your nation within this hour. So from my family to yours, God bless you. We love you. We are praying for you, precious saints. Shalom, shalom, shalom.